the Union, the members of the new uh, Commonwealth. If the last meeting in Davos was held under the motto, Save Gorbachev, today the motto is, Help the Commonwealth and Save Ourselves. It is in the interests of the entire world community to give genuine, effective assistance to the reform process of Russia and the other common countries of the CIS. The big business leaders meeting in Davos think in the long term they understand their responsibility before the entire world in ensuring the prosperity of democracy. Russian rep businessmen were also represented here. The, m the main thing here is that we are responsible not only to the people who work in our firms, but for the, uh, the entire people, because the entire world is looking at us and ho has hopes that we will uh, be successful and the West lo looks to us for trust. The visit of Leonid Kravchuk gives Bond the opportunity to solve several important issues. Ukraine is not only the second largest country on the continent, it's also the world's third largest nuclear power because it has 4,346 atomic warheads, including 300, that is 1,300 strategic warheads. So President von Weizsäcker and Chancellor Kohl uh, welcomed the promises by Ukraine that it will become a non-nuclear neutral country by the end of 1994. How many troops does Ukraine need and the principle of reasonable sufficiency? According to the uh, sources, the Paris Treaty on Conventional Weapons is no use to us. We have no one to ratify it, but uh, Germans urge the Ukrainian leadership to accept their obligations under the February 25th uh, disarmament agreement, which were taken under Gorbachev. Ukraine will join, they hope, the agreement of the finance ministers of the G7 countries regulating the foreign debt of the Soviet Union. The Ukrainian leadership will gain the favor of Germany if they follow through on their promise to settle Russian Germans in the southern Ukraine. Russia, Ukraine has no interest in harming Russia but will pursue its own independent diplomatic course. Today in Venezuela there was an attempt to uh, carry out a military coup d'etat. Paratroopers from the city of Maracay surrounded the president's residence where he lives with his fa family. Shooting continued for several hours between the putschists and the government forces. Now the presidential palace is surrounded by units loyal to the government and the president said in a TV address that the government is in full control of the situation in the country. The Peace Prize of UNESCO was awarded today to ANC Chairman Nelson Mandela and South African President de Klerk. It was given to these two politicians for their decisive contribution to overcoming conflict in South Africa. 18 people were killed and 119 were wounded as a result of mass riots which erupted in a camp for Vietnamese refugees in Hong Kong. The riots began after two refugees, one from North Vietnam and one from South Vietnam, were unable to, unable to share hot water in the bathhouse. The participants in the fighting used truncheons, sharp metal ob objects, rocks, and homemade weapons. The police were able to restore order only after four hours, uh, having used tear gas. The president of Ireland, Mary Robinson, arrived in Northern Ireland today. This was the first official visit uh, 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 of the Erla Ireland government in Great Britain. She supports greater and closer cooperation between Ireland and Great Britain. Due to security reasons, the specific program of her visit was not announced. The president of the Supreme Government Council of Algeria, Mohamed Gouldaf, declared today that the activities of the Islamic Salvation Front will not be prohibited. He also appealed uh, to all the people of Algeria to remove the threat of civil war for, uh, from Algeria. He also appealed, he also rejected rumors that many people were killed in riots last Friday. He said that only three people were killed. The famous American singer Michael Jackson declared at a press conference in New York today that next summer he will begin a world tour that will continue for 18 months. He is, uh, he intends to give all the proceeds from the tour to his Children's Defense and Environmental Protection Fund. By Christmas 1993, he plans to collect $100 million.
Of all the monuments to famous people, the Museum of Nikolai Relikhov is perhaps the most inaccessible. It's a monument to the great pose and prose and poetry and is part of our culture. But there is very little uh, activity or maintenance here at this museum. It has been neglected for 20 years. There is no repair or restoration uh, where in this house where Relic lived a hundred years ago. Several uh, cottages on the territory have been burned, which are threatening to destroy this unique cul Russian cultural center in the Himalayas. His son, uh, Sviatoslav Relic, Relikov has transferred the custodianship of this museum to our famous uh, diplomat Alexander Kaldakin. Today, Svetoslav Relikov made us the uh, custodian. No, I'm not the owner, I will just be the custodian. But I want to make this place, which is connected with the a family of a man who made a unique contribution to world culture uh, should be connected as closely with Russia as it is with India. And now from meditation in the Himalayas we return to our practical concerns. Viewers will remember the uh, confusion over the sale of apartments into private hands. There have been many contradictory reports in the press. It appears that today the situation is being resolved. The Every uh, resident now has the right to become the owner of property practically free by paying a 320 ruble fee and the value added tax. All people who live in homes uh, will be, uh, become the owners of their places of residence, having filled out this uh, form in four copies. But there are, there is not the expected crowd of people coming into this office to, ref, to register. Of three million apartments ready for privatization in Moscow, only 12,000 have registered so far. This is because all the tax rate will become known only in March. The tax rate of 0.1% could be taken either from the construction cost of the building or from the market price. So having privatized uh, residents for all members of the fam family, the family will lose the right to free housing and then will have to pay for an apartment. Now the values of the property are, raise, are rising uh, quickly and there are certain conditions on the agreement printed on the backside of the form. Re new owners take all responsibility for, for repair and, up and maintenance of the uh, building and the area around it. If a person decides to remain in municipal housing, he can become the uh, owner and he can pass it on to his in his inheritance he, to be to become the owner uh, today we think will mean becoming a rich person tomorrow because the uh, prices of land and buildings are rising you can decide for yourself to buy or not Four days remain till the beginning of the 16th Winter Olympiad in Albertville. This is how this famous small Fran French city looks now. The ski, tr ski trails have been prepared where freestyle will be an Olympic event for the first time. The competition will be on the highest level. What can you say about our sports uh, world? The CIS team will have to pay not 4 million rubles, but 26 million rubles for participation in the games. This was decided, this was revealed at Novogorsk today when the Intergovernment Sporting Council met. They said that the Barcelona Olympics will also have a centrally planned team, and the chairman of this Intergovernmental Sporting Council is Nikolai Rusak. On the green continent in Melbourne, there was the 
third demonstration match between the Sweden and Australia soccer teams. The home team won one to zero. The only goal was scored by the captain of the Australian team, Paul White, in the 65th minute. The first match ended in a 0-0 tie. Today in the Californian port of San Diego, the first pre preliminary round in the America's Cup race ended today. After the seventh race, the s teams from New Zealand and Japan leave with six points after a tough, tough battle. The third place is occupied by France and Italy, which have five points each. After them come Australia, Spain, and Sweden. At midnight, you'll see our final news broadcast. Tatiana Mitkova is preparing it for you now. I say goodbye.